What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Thursday, February 2nd. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, let's take a look at this seven game NBA slate tonight. I got a quick one for you here. I got about five or six picks, one at each position. So let's get into it. At the point guard position, I like Drew Holiday from the Milwaukee Bucks playing the LA Clippers, who have a middle of the pack defense overall. They're middle of the pack defending opposing point guards. Drew Holiday has averaged 40.3 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 33 minutes per game with a 26% usage rate. He's projected at 37.8 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score his season average of 40 fantasy points or more, gets you five times value or more. He's 8,300 DraftKings salary, 600 less on FanDuel. So I love that FanDuel price. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 232 points scored in this game. And Drew Holiday has scored 42, 34, and 44 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 36, 30, and 35 minutes. And I like this pick because Drew Holiday has scored 60 and 48 fantasy points in his last two games versus the Clippers. So I like Drew Holiday here versus the LA Clippers. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. So I like Emmanuel Quickly from the New York Knicks playing the Miami Heat, who have a good defense overall, and they've been good versus opposing shooting guards. But Emmanuel Quickly has averaged 24.9 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 27 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate. He's projected at 27.6 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.1 times value. He's 5,400 DraftKings salary, 300 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 213 points scored in this game. And Emmanuel quickly has scored 37, 31, and 28 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 38, 27, and 28 minutes. He scored 36 fantasy points in his last game versus the Heat. So I like Emmanuel quickly here versus the Miami Heat. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you wanna enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And then we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy. And we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. Take a look at Benedict Mathurin from the Indian Indiana Pacers playing the LA Lakers who have the second worst defense overall. Middle of the pack defending opposing small forwards. Benedict Mathurin has averaged 26.5 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 29 minutes per game with a 26% usage rate. He's projected at 25.2 fantasy points here tonight, but he's playing uh, over 30 minutes a game and he's been on fire here. So I think he can score 32 fantasy points or more in this matchup gets you five times value or more. He's 5,900 DraftKings salary, 400 more on FanDuel, and Vegas thinks there's gonna be 240 points scored in this game. Benedict Mathurin has scored 44, 31, and 41 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 31, 31, and 32 minutes. And he hasn't scored under 31 fantasy points in his last five games. And he scored 37 fantasy points in his last game versus the Lakers. So I like 
Benedict Mathurin here versus the LA Lakers. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. I like Jimmy Butler from the Miami Heat playing the New York Knicks who have a middle of the pack defense overall. They're middle of the pack defending opposing power forwards. Jimmy Butler has averaged 41.5 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 34 minutes per game with a 25% usage rate. He's projected at 38.6 fantasy points here tonight, and that's 5.2 times value. Only 7,400 DraftKings salary. Now he's 1,000 more on FanDuel, and Vegas thinks there's going to be 213 points scored in this game. Jimmy Butler has scored 39, 45, and 50 fantasy points in his last three games, playing 34, 33, and 32 minutes. And Jimmy Butler has scored 52, 32, 39, 44, and 56 fantasy points in his last five games versus the Knicks. So he certainly looks underpriced here tonight, especially on DraftKings. So I like Jimmy Butler here versus the New York Knicks. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the Position Optimizer, where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new Player Trends tool, where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, moving on to the center position. Stud on the slate that I like is Anthony Davis from the LA Lakers playing the Indiana Pacers who have the fourth worst defense overall, give up the third most fantasy points to opposing centers, Anthony Davis, has averaged 52.4 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 33 minutes per game with a 29% usage rate. He's projected at 47.2 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score 50 fantasy points or more, get you five times value or more. He's 9,900 DraftKings salary, 200 less on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 240 points scored in this game. Anthony Davis has scored 41 and 36 fantasy points in the last two games, playing 36 and 33 minutes. But I like this pick because Anthony Davis has scored 59 and 54 fantasy points in his last two games versus the Pacers. So I like Anthony Davis here versus the Indiana Pacers. Now, Nikolai Vucevic at 8,900 DraftKings salary Scored 54 and 56 fantasy points in the last two games, playing 38 and 39 minutes. Uh, he's got a fantastic matchup here versus the Charlotte Hornets, who have the second worst defense overall, give up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing centers. So I like Nikolai Vucevic here versus the Charlotte Hornets. And another center that I like, also available at the power forward position, is Evan Mobley from the Cleveland Cavaliers playing the Memphis Grizzlies who have a middle of the pack defense overall, give up the third most fantasy points to opposing centers. And Evan Mobley has averaged 34 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 34 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate. He's projected at 34.2 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.9 times value. He's 7,000 DraftKings salary. 400 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 224.5 points scored in this game. Evan Mobley has scored 38, 33, and 43 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 38, 26, and 37 minutes. And he scored 46, 32, and 44 fantasy points in his last three games versus the Grizzlies. So I like Evan Mobley here versus the Memphis Grizzlies. If you wanna try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com.
You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.